Hi to everyone and welcome to our channel. Glad to see you here. Today I want to show you one fantastic platform and if you're wondering how you can build your own landing page or a website, this platform will suit for your purposes for sure because we tested a lot of them. Uh, we spent a lot of money, efforts and time to get all this information to this review and I want to show you how you can build your web page or business page or CV or portfolio in just literally couple clicks in literally couple actions uh, and look at here portfolio blog online store personal and CV creative services events and vetting small businesses a lot of pre-made templates already here and uh, so you can easily find the link. We left it in the description panel of this video so you can use this link and uh, get a big discount for our subscribers from whole our team. Uh, so let's just get started before you on the platform, you need to log in or sign up. So this is my dashboard already. Let's press the create a website. The platform itself gives you some questions from the start. What the type of your next future website or the topic. So you can choose this uh, from bench of options uh, and you can build most relevant web page for you. Like let's use the portfolio for example and we gonna find out that there's tons of interesting templates right here you can preview or you can just start doing it i want to show you this uh, the core knowledges the core functionality of the platform editor so you will find out how to move things how to insert things how to uh, make all on the spots and uh, in the end of this video, you will figure out how you can buy your own, uh, create your own website and go live with it. So first of all, of course, you need to give your web page a name. For example, I want to show you on the fitness web page. I want to build the simple landing page without a lot of pages. So you press and just continue. And platform itself shows you how you need to act on the platform. There's a dashboard you see right here. Just next pages design. I will show all these buttons to you. And here's the assistant. All you need to do to go live with your web page is start your trial, include site title, logo, add and delete pages, change fonts and colors, add images, connect and update domains and optimize for search and launch your site. You can open uh this assistant here with the question button pages design commerce marketing scheduling analytics profile settings and help let's go to pages and we see here that there's a shop there's story and blog shop story and blog these buttons are clickable and they provide you to uh all these pages but I prefer to make one page website or a landing page uh, and here on this uh, on this template you have a shop so you can buy something yeah but the main purpose of um, any landing page or a web page to bring in new customers uh, and create a new customers from your visitors. So the main purpose is to get their contacts, email or phone number. We're going to build it just on home page. We're going to build it on home page and we're going to delete all other pages because we don't need them. And we're going to combine the web page straight on the one single uh, page. I want to delete all this. Okay, let's jump to edit the page. You see, uh, your site name is already right here. True feed, edit site header. In this site header, you can see how your web page will be displayed on different types of devices. On the desktop, 
or on the mobile phone. And the layouts, this here layouts are different uh, for, for different pages. For example, here you can, here you can leave it with, uh, with the logo in center. And here's the same here layout. You can change like only mobile version of heater. I want it to be like this. In elements, you can enable or disable button, social links, cart. We're not selling anything on this website, so we just turn it off. Account login. We don't need to also, but we need the button and we need social links to enable. Alrighty. Here in the social links in added section, you can add Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and so on. Any uh, social media platform that you have actually, you can add it here and the buttons will be uh, will become clickable. All right. Let's leave it like that. And you see that it's transparent right now and it's going to use the color of first section. Here you see add section and here you can see the add section. All these sections, we don't need all these sections except the heater, except the footer, heater we have and footer. So let's just understand how you can edit the things. Here's the button and here's the text. Here you can change the size of it, the style, hitting four, paragraph. I want it to be big. Here's the button. Everything you can change with this pencil button. You can edit everything. It's not shop now. For example, book now. True feed. And here's get started also. We need to change to book now. The button, get started. Okay, I can see only one text right here, but I want to add some text. And you see this plus buttons, you just press in it. And there's basic content blocks that you can add to this text. Markdown, quote, image, video, spacer, line, button, audio, ambit, poster card, and so on and so on. There's plenty of tools. And you can play with them uh, while you build in your own web page. I need to insert text and to write just here. Okay, you see the text is actually small. You can place it on the center. I need it to be hitting two, for example, and book now. You see it, it looks already nice. Here you can edit the section, you can duplicate the section, move it up or move it down. You can't move it up because it's right in front after the heater. So you can move it down, we're not going to do that. And uh, let's change the style, format, background and understand the colors that you can apply to this section. Section height, small, medium or large. I want it to be large and content width, small, medium or large. Okay, I want it to be like this. The background. Here you can insert image or video. You can replace it, delete or edit image itself to add the crop, to add some um, layouts, to add some styles. Let's edit this image, for example. Just to show you the brightness contrast, all the editing features are right here. You can crop it or you can add a filter to it. We're not going to do this because it's not the picture that will be on this spot. Just saving it. And I want to remove this image to upload my own. Just press and delete. And you see right now, it's the color of the background, it changed itself. And you can like change the styles.
let's use the white bold to all the and you can edit the color scheme. So right now you see the color of the buttons of the text is different, but you can edit it with this button. I want to add an image of background. Let's do it. And you add in the image straight from your computer. Okay, the picture is added. And I like this picture is dark. Let's change the colors, for example, for dark bold, black bold. Okay, dark minimal is cool for this. No, let it be like that. And you see the contrast of the text and contrast of the picture. It's okay. It's pretty nice. So here we can add a section. Let's delete all the section that we don't need. You see, there's only footer left. So we can add a section. For example, we can add plenty of sections right here, but Headlines, list, gallery, images, quote, text, video, appointments, contact, donation, form, tons of things you can add right here. Even calendar, chart, FAQs, location, logo wall, menu, music, and pricing, and so on. For example, we need the some gallery. We need some gallery of the training. For example, we can add. I like this one, for example. And of course, you can change. You see, there's a black um, black font, black background on the picture. Here, in the pictures, you can edit all the pictures, edit all the images. I want to leave three of them. You can search images on the platform itself like free one premium there's tons of them and you definitely will find all that you need for your own purposes for your own web page that you're building or import it i want to upload it from my computer okay just closing it you see there's pictures and the grid Okay, you see the you see the arrows and it will change like a slideshow. Let's add some section. The same thing, we go into add a section, list gallery images video, for example. Let it be like this here in the video. And everything you editing with this pencil button. And you can Insert your own URL if you have some video right here and it will appear here. There's a spacer. We're not going to touch it. Okay, you remember that all the text that you need, you can make bigger. And I want to add a button right here. So I'm just pressing this plus and adding a button. Okay, let's see how it looks on different platforms on cell phone, mobile preview. Here's the button and you can press it straight from here. There's a video and we need to add it the footer itself. And that's pretty it. There's address and I don't want this made with Squarespace. I want to delete it. Okay, that looks pretty interesting, pretty fantastic. Let's edit this section. Yeah, that looks great for me. See, it's modern, it's pretty fantastic and interesting. And we have a couple buttons and call to actions on this web page. So this is pretty it. When somebody will press the button book now, he will be able to send you an email to uh, email address that you inserted here. That's cool. That's pretty interesting. Uh, just we'll have to we need to upload some video here and it's going to be pretty work inside that looks nice on any platform. It's adoptable totally. 
But one interesting thing, done and safe. What if I don't like the font that used on this uh, on this web page? I want to change the design. Fonts, colors, animation, spacing, buttons, image blocks, and so on. So let's change the font. There's plenty of uh, pre-made, already pre-made packages. Yeah, that looks that looks better for me. I'm gonna save it. Okay, guys, that was pretty it. I showed you the core knowledge that you can use to build your own web page or website. And remember that main purpose of any landing page or a web page is to get new customers. Because all the visitors can be your customers, can become your customers when they pressing like buttons all over here uh, and leaving the contact information for you. So you will work with that information, call them or email them or you send those contacts to your email provider a mail list and they will get some value from you for example so this is the issue of the next videos how to act with potential customers but right now i showed you the core knowledges that you can apply to your own uh, web page and you can build it fast easy and without an effort and you don't need to learn some coding or uh, you need to know some web design it's already pre-made it's already uh, tons of templates in this platform so you can easy build your own web page this was about the squarespace i recommend you to use this platform and you can get a discount from our team for our subscribers you just need to check the description of this video and we left the link where you can get the discount from our team for our subscribers thank you so much have a great day hope this was useful and bye bye see you in the next videos